often want to remember people that we've lost. Whether it was a family member, friend, or celebrity, we like looking back on the good times. Sometimes it can be a little eerie looking back on old videos and pictures, knowing that this was the last time they were seen alive. I've collected some of those photos for you today, so let's count down the top 10 scary celebrity lost photos you weren't meant to see. At number 10, Robin Williams. Actor and comedian Robin Williams put a smile on everyone's face. He had the ability to captivate an audience so easily, and he always left an impression on every single one of his fans. Though he had a long and successful career, he also spent some time working for Disney, portraying a number of characters. He worked on projects like Popeye, Good Morning Vietnam, Good Will Hunting, Back to Neverland, Flubber, and more. His most notable Disney production, however, was Aladdin. Robin voiced the genie, bringing that magical blue goofball to life in the most entertaining way. The genie was always meant to be played by Robin, as the character was even written with him in mind. And he brought the character to life in both the original Aladdin and the sequel, Aladdin and the King of Thieves. Sadly, Robin passed away on on August 11, 2014, after he took his own life. Though it was originally reported that he suffered from depression, his wife later clarified that he was really suffering from a condition called DLB, saying that Robin's depression was one of the many symptoms of DLB. His last photo was taken at a party the day before he took his own life, and it's so sad to look back at and see that this was the last time he would ever be seen alive in public. At number nine, Heath Ledger. The legendary actor flipped the world upside down when he suddenly passed away in 2008. The media was flooded with articles that broke the news of his body being found on the floor by his housekeeper in his apartment in New York City. He was only 28 years old at the time and had recently finished filming for his role as the Joker in The Dark Knight. Not long after his housekeeper found his body, the emergency crew arrived, but they weren't able to revive him. His cause of death was determined as an accidental overdose. The toxicology test revealed that he had prescription medications in his system, including well-known painkillers, anti-anxiety medication, and sleeping pills. His family ended up taking his body back to Australia and buried him next to his grandfather parents in his hometown of Perth. His last photo was one that was taken while on set for the film The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, showing him in costume for what would be one of his last roles ever. Before we carry on talking about these celebrities' last pictures, why not take a moment to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and while you're at it, consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number 8, Princess Diana. Diana was the people's princess. She was loved by so many, made such an impact in a lot of people's lives, and gave back to those in need. She got to live a lavish life as well as she was part of the royal family, but even with the fame and riches, Diana was still terribly unhappy. She faced a number of hardships both in and out of the public eye, and a lot of the pain that she experienced stemmed from her marriage to Prince Charles. Though the people loved them, they were not as close and in love as they should have been, and Diana felt trapped. It wasn't until her divorce that she was able to finally find freedom and start her life over again, but she didn't get to enjoy that freedom for very long as she passed away tragically in a car accident. There is an image that was taken of her in the car just seconds before it crashed, and it is definitely an eerie photo to see. At number seven, Amelia Earhart. I'm sure you guys have no doubt heard of the famed pilot who tried to cross the globe but was never seen again. In 1937, Amelia departed on her journey to circumnavigate the globe, but after receiving an emergency message from her, people got worried, especially when communication stopped entirely. The search for Amelia began just an hour after her last recorded message, but to this day, Amelia nor her remains were ever found. In 1940, a woman's body was located on Gardner Island, part of the Phoenix Islands in Kiribati in the Western Pacific Ocean. Along with it looked to be a campfire, shoes, and navigational equipment. The woman looked to be around Amelia's height, but the body was never truly identified to confirm that this was Amelia. The last photo we have of Amelia was taken just before what would have been her final flight before she was lost forever. At number six, Michael Jackson. The pop legend died on the afternoon of June 25th, 2009, after he was found in his bed not breathing. He had been rehearsing late the night before and did not leave his room in the morning. That's when his body was discovered the following day in the afternoon by his personal personal physician, Conrad Murray. He explained that he tried to revive Michael for 5-10 to 10 minutes but was unsuccessful, so he called paramedics who performed CPR for 42 minutes and were also unsuccessful. He was sent to the hospital and was officially pronounced dead after another hour of attempting to resuscitate him. They determined that he had died from an overdose of drugs following a cardiac arrest. But there's always been a lot of controversy surrounding his death and people were not convinced that we got the whole story of what happened the night before his passing. One of the last photos that we have of the King of Pop is one from his stage rehearsal. 
well. It is crazy to think that this photo was captured not knowing that this performance would never happen. At number five, Gene Wilder. When someone is diagnosed with a serious illness, it becomes a very tough and personal decision of whether or not to tell people about it. I know people who have chosen to keep their illness a secret until the end, and this is exactly what actor Gene Wilder did. Gene passed away in 2016, but it wasn't until after he died that the public learned about the secret that he was keeping in regards to his health. It turned out that the actor had been battling Alzheimer's for over three years before he passed away. After learning of this, a lot of people wanted to know why this news was kept from the public, and the reason behind it is so touching. Gene didn't want to reveal his condition to the public because he wanted people to remember him as who he was, not as someone who was sick. He wanted to keep the smiles on the faces of his fans. In a statement released by Gene's family, they elaborated on the situation, saying, quote, The decision to wait until this time to disclose his condition wasn't vanity, but more so the countless young children that would smile or call out to him, there's Willy Wonka. One of the last photos that we have of the actor is one of him simply walking down the street. He never wanted to disclose his illness to the public to make sure that we remembered him well and not while he was sick. So seeing this last photo of him knowing that he was struggling is so heartbreaking. At number four, Aaliyah. The R&B singer and actress tragically died back in 2001 after being in a plane crash. She was only 22 years old at the time. She was leaving the Bahamas with her film crew and was heading back to the US when the private plane that they were on crashed just moments after takeoff. She was killed along with seven other people on the plane. One man survived the crash and was flown to Florida for treatment immediately after suffering critical injuries. The whole thing was a shock to the world and the reason she was in the Bahamas was because she was filming her newest music video. Reports started to claim that the plane was overloaded and did not follow the weight capacity standards, which caused it to fall nose first into the ground just 250 feet off the runway. The last photo that we have of the singer is one that was taken by a fan just two days before her tragic death. It's so sad to know that this fan was the last one to see her alive. At number three, Tupac. Tupac was killed on September 13th, 1996 after an unknown assailant shot him four times from a white Cadillac while stopped at an intersection in Las Vegas. We know that Tupac was involved in rivalries with a number of different people and that his own actions put a target on his back, but even to this day, we have no idea who pulled the trigger four times on that September night. It is believed that there are specific ties between the case and certain gang organizations and other rivals, but it's such a messy situation that it's hard to get some solid answers. The last image we have of the rapper is of him in the passenger seat of a car just moments before he was fatally shot. Unfortunately though, this image does not give us any clues as to who killed Tupac. At number two, Steve Irwin. He had the name the Crocodile Hunter for a reason. Everyone loved to see him getting hands-on with wildlife in a way that many people had never seen before. He honestly seemed invincible when it came to these animals that most of us wouldn't dare touch. But then the unexpected happened and a stingray barb struck him in the heart, killing him at 44 years old. There was only one witness to his death and it was his cameraman, Justin Lyons, who opened up about what really happened. They were filming Ocean's Deadliest and ended up coming across a massive eight foot long stingray. As Steve got close to it, the stingray started stabbing wildly with its tail, hundreds of strikes in just a few seconds, and one of them striking his heart. His wife Terry and two kids were on vacation when he passed and flew home when they heard the news. The last footage that we have of the crocodile hunter is a video that was filmed by a tourist the day before Steve passed away from massive blood loss following the incident with the stingray. And finally at number one, Marilyn Monroe. Actress Marilyn Monroe was one of the biggest celebrities of the 20th century. She was an icon beloved by so many and she was super successful in Hollywood. However, behind all that success was a lot of sadness and no matter how much money she had, it still didn't make her life much better. Though she had an estimated net worth of about $27 million at the time, all of that money couldn't make up for the hardships that she faced behind the scenes. She already carried trauma from her childhood, and according to biographers, Marilyn also struggled with her mental health and found it difficult to cope with her own fame. On top of that, each of her three marriages ended in divorce, she endured miscarriages and faced illnesses as well. Marilyn didn't get her chance to see her life turn around for the better as she passed away so young, and the last images that we have of her were taken while she was on vacation in Lake Tahoe just days before she passed away in her home. Before we wrap things up for today, I want you guys to leave a comment down below telling me which celebrity photo you thought was the eeriest. Let me know your thoughts down below. Anyways, that's it for me. I've been your host, Brie Rue, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay groovy, friends. <laughs>